Hello everybody and welcome back to Overvolted. I am Steven and today I just got a box of ferrets shipped to my house. And by box of ferrets I mean one singular ferret. From Creality, it's the 3D scan ferret. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is upside down. Alright, so this is a 3D scanner, a handheld 3D scanner. So you can mount your phone to this little tripod that it comes with and scan in reality around you and put it into your computer and then modify it however you want or just print it as is. So this just showed up and I'm excited to give it a shot. We're gonna unbox it, see what's in there, install the software, see what that's like and try it out on a couple little things to see how it scans and if we can print those scans and how accurate they are. First up in the box of ferrets is a carrying case. Very good. Says Creality on the front. I like it. Let's see what we have in here. Instructions that I'm not going to read. All right, so in this top zipper pocket, it came with some USB cables, an Allen wrench, and some other stuff like that. Other boring cableage stuff. In the main section here, it looks like we've got the actual camera. It looks like a webcam, kind of like a Logitech Brio or something like that as far as sizing goes. Um, but this is the multi-camera system that enables this thing to scan 3D objects into the system. It also comes with this little tripod situation and a tripod style phone mount. So it looks like that on top of this tripod goes the phone mount. Okay, cool. Sure enough. Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay. And then there is another little mount that mounts to the actual 3D scanner. And that 3D scanner slides in to the shoe adapter and locks down with this little lock ring. This device came with two different cables. One of the cables is to connect from the camera itself to your computer. And then the main one here is to connect from the camera with a little nice thumb screw to secure it in to your phone with USB type C and then into the little charger handle tripod situation. And I see there's a QR code on top here. So I'm just going to bloop that with my phone and let's get the software installed. Okay, so under the download accessory software, it looks like there's a Windows download that we're going to use to install the computer and maybe we can manipulate the models after the fact on that. We'll see. And then there is an Android APK. It's called Creality Scan. Um, just for fun, I'm going to swipe over to the store and see if that app is in the store. It doesn't look like, at least at the time of recording this video, that it's in the app store yet. So I can just download it from this website. I trust Creality. It's a reliable company, so I will install their APK. And I did read somewhere, I forget, on some, on some literature or maybe on their site, that it is coming for Apple computers shortly. Okay, so after hitting allow on a few different permission options, it loads up to this screen. Very pretty and colorful. It doesn't look like it's got any device connected to it. I'm guessing what that is in the bottom. Yes, please connect the scanner when you tap on it. Um, so let's just mount this thing into this tripod and give it a shot. Okay, so now on the screen it looks like that little link symbol has gone green, so it knows the scanner is detected. I'm going to do this nice little peel. So nice. And let's just click new scan and see what we can figure out. Um, I should probably get something to scan. Okay, so just for fun, I just looked at some random crap that's around me and I found this, the plastic end to one of those drywall anchors that you screw into the wall and then you can hang stuff. Let's scan this thing and then see if we can print out a new one. All right, let's hit new scan. Okay, it is taking me here. I don't know what those two black squares are. Touching them doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just going to hit start. I'm not seeing the camera light up. It sure doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Okay, so the first attempt did not work. I mean, I think this thing just came out. I think shipments weren't even expected until next week. So maybe the app has a few quirks. I'm going to try unplugging it and plugging it back in. You know, doing the normal IT troubleshooting procedures to see if we can get this thing to work. And it says scanner disconnected. Connect the scanner to scan again. Okay. 
I'm going to unplug the USB my, from my phone. And we're back. Yes, you see the scan ferret. Oh, and the app has crashed. Let's go back. All right, I, I at least have a little bit of a preview here. That is awesome. Okay, so it looks like this time it is working. Was working. Okay, so I'm having some problems with this app disconnecting from the camera itself. Now, this is a new product and maybe there's some kinks to work out, but also maybe my phone is just a little goofy at the moment. It's a Pixel 6 Pro, just for your reference. So I'm gonna just restart it make sure it's nice and fresh and happy and see what happens then. All right, and now we've unplugged it, plugged it back in. This is after a fresh reboot of the phone just to, to rule that out. Let's see if we have any of the problems anymore. Okay, so I, so I see it. I think I really don't know what I'm looking at at the moment because I've never used one of these contraptions before and now it is frozen. Why is it frozen? All right, now it says, operation failed. Do you want to try again? Cancel will return to the home page, which I don't want to do. I want to try again. So confirm, confirm will just give you the same prompt over and over again if, you, if you're if you into that. So I guess I'm going to cancel. <laughs> I'm hoping this isn't just a video about how this new cool tech is not working. definitely seems a little finicky. It doesn't detect the scanner all the time until I plug it in and unplug it. It seems to take multiple instances of that. Like right now, it's just frozen on the screen again. None of the preview windows are moving or anything like that. And it still says it's connected. Well, I'm not having any luck. Right now, this is only supported on Android devices. Otherwise, I would try it on my iPad or something like that to see if it works any better. I can try it on a different device. Let me get one. Okay, so I'm back and I could not get this to work with any of my Android devices. I guess I don't maybe have a device that's supported with that version of the APK, or maybe there are some bugs that need to be worked out. So if you know, let me know in the comments down below or Creality hit me up, let me know what I'm doing wrong. But I was able to download the Windows software on my Windows laptop right here out of frame. And it seems to be working much better. It actually loads the preview windows and I can, in, for the most part, see what I'm trying to see, which is good. Okay, and as you can see, this looks like it's working a lot better than the Android version is, at least the Android version that I downloaded. Um, if I move it too close, it says too near. If I move it too far back, it kind of goes up and says too far. So if I keep it right around here, as you can see on that preview window, it stays kind of in the green. And I do not have one of those fancy turntables. So uh, what I do have is a cardboard box and I can spin it. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to adjust to the perfect distance and then click this start button here. It looks like I could click it there or on the side. And let's see what happens. Works electric cordless hot glue gun. Let's see if that'll scan. What about a wrench? What about this Greenworks Pro? 80 volt battery. Will it like that? This is a shoe. So far, I feel like this is working the best out of anything I've tried. Am I gonna make it all the way around to the other side? Tracking lost, so when the tracking gets lost, I just shift back to a frame that was functional. Oh, seems like the tracking's getting lost. It, it's really getting scared when I go to that toe. Looks like it's getting confused again. I mean, I'm just guessing, but maybe a shoe isn't the right thing to be trying to scan. Okay, so this was a bit less of a success than what I was originally expecting. I was expecting just to scan some objects and then boom, they're STLs and I can print them on the printer and I can show you guys how good it is and how detailed it is. And that may 
B, the future, but for now I feel like A, I don't know what I'm doing, and B, there might be some bugs to work out. After all, I couldn't get it to work on any of my Android devices, so Creality, let me know if there's something I am doing wrong, or any of you guys who are more into this 3D scanning space, let me know what I'm doing wrong, and also let me know in the comments what you want me to do with this, what you want me to try to scan and print and etc. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you can, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>